hello good morning and welcome to my channel again um today i'll be showing you how to get rid of aphids and pests that is on your plants the natural way without buying all those uh sprays that are dangerous for your health you know that are healthy for the environment so in this bottle i have like a neem oil and i have some dish soap and water that's basically it and I noticed that my there is pests because if you notice this leaf yeah so this is one way that you can know I will move this one and there are several others in it and they're mostly they're mostly on the vegetables and so especially the leaf the leafy vegetables so I want to get rid of those. So what I do, I will spray not only on the leaves, on top of the leaves, but underneath the leaves as well. Because they're there. And you won't eat this <laughs> until maybe five days or so. You will eat it same time. And it has a really... You know smell <laughs> because of the neem oil but it's all healthy and then you won't water it same time as well because you don't want to wash off the the neem the neem oil or this solution from it you want to really get in there especially when you have tight fitting veggies like this these are beet leaves and these are nice sautéed. So, yeah. And then these are the spinach. So you will see them grow like this because I like my spinach hardy and not too like soft <laughs> or I don't like the baby spinach, you know. So when you sauté these, you have that strong bite in them. So as I said, not only on top, but you have to go underneath and make sure that you spray underneath the leaves to get a good coating. This one is not badly affected. It's just a couple of leaves. You see them? Yeah. You spray them before they get. So you will spray all the surrounding plants. Mm. These are some shallots, and I don't really spray them because they're not really affected by it. But for my spinach, which is the Marbalo Malabar, sorry, Malabar <laughs> spinach, I spray it because they, they are affected. If you notice on the leaves, yes, and so I give it a good coating and underneath as well. And there's one over there. Get them in and underneath, make sure you go underneath it, right? And then for my tomato plants, I also do that, although they're not really affected somewhat. These are sunburn, uh, it has really been in the high 30s. This uh, couple of days, and so the tomatoes are affected by the heat but they are doing so so well i could not have been prouder about how they're doing so try to i haven't seen any aphids on the tomatoes but you know you're never sure so just spray everything um okay so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna spray these and the lettuce. I have this lettuce growing. <laughs> I hope it makes and I have some other veggies. I like to grow veggies in pots. <coughs> and but what I realized that I thought I could transplant all of them. And I realized that they're so hard to transplant. It's like <coughs> I lost some through trans transportation. You know, <coughs> and Sorry. Yeah, just to get into it, get into it and spray them 
spray the back of the leaves as many as you can and then these are not hard to spray because they're not so closely together and yeah but, but I noticed that it the aphids it loves the chard yep <laughs> it loves the chard and the uh, and the spinach <coughs> sorry excuse me oh, it has a high scent <coughs> excuse me so yeah it has a really high scent so I'll see as I said some vegetables are hard to transplant but this one is coming back up so that's a relief and I plant these in bags and there are some seeds as well in them just in case the plant doesn't come up some of the plants die yeah so so this is how we use neem oil to spray our plants this is a gooseberry tree <laughs> i will it won't it won't come to uh like it won't bear fruits uh this year so it won't bear any fruits this year so what i'm gonna do is that after the summer i am going to spray it down since our summer is short it's like after september <laughs> you have to take in the stuff that you need um inside because <clears throat> then it's winter uh <clears throat> well it's it's fall but it get yeah the frost comes and kills everything of course so I will take this gooseberry uh, gooseberry plant and I will put it in my <clears throat> sorry in my this thing is really strong sorry guys uh, put it in my green in my greenhouse you know and then the next year I will get a bigger pot and replant it and see how it goes from there you know um, when you're renting when you're renting it's hard to like plant stuff in your uh, landlord's uh, property so I prefer to plant in parts the things that I'm going to like if I have to move I can move with them especially when you buy plants that are really expensive um, like this um, gooseberry and also we have some raspberries over there as well that I want to um, that I want to keep <clears throat> that I want to keep uh, over the winter because they're not ready to mature yet and then next year I plant them in bigger pots when I know that they will be bearing fruits because you know in the first uh, in the first in the first year uh, they don't bear they just shoot up new canes like they've been doing if you see that you see fresh See, fresh canes coming up yes new ones and those are new ones as well and the other ones die and they come up and so that's what they will do for that's what they will do uh, for the entire season and then on um, the next season now which will be next year summer they will bear uh, they will bear fruits so this is a Sask Saskatoon berry that hopefully we'll get your own place and i can plant that tree and stuff but that's about it that's how you use neem oil and you will spray everything around because uh you don't know which one has the effects that is passing it on to other plants you know because they move from plants to plants right but as i said i noticed that with the spinach and the chard that they get diseased or aphids or any other insects like easily like easily uh, I'm going to show you I'm gonna leave you with a picture of my pumpkin plant and here you go so you can plant yes you can you can grow pumpkin in uh, 
uh, this is a box <laughs> it's a planter and yes you can grow pumpkin in a planter like this yep and it will just run along the sides and hopefully I'll get some pumpkin this year or sometimes I put like uh, last year I put the pumpkin in or a squash she was a squash yes I put it in this plant here so it runs all the way in the plant and it I got a couple of squash although they were late in the season but nothing tried nothing done right so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day